Hey Mike, it's uh, Chris over at CNA Smallage, and uh, I run into a uh, problem over here with one machine. It was a Honda uh, GX240 engine on a um, concrete mixer machine, and the problem was uh, we put a new kill switch on the machine, and the, the the kill switch is not turning the engine off and on. It's actually staying on, and we isolate the problem to the coil by itself, and the, the kill uh, the kill wire to the coil is perfectly fine. Uh, it has a uh, good flow through it. There's nothing wrong on each end on there for that. And we also find that the ignition coil itself is faulty. Uh, I was looking online for uh, my manuals and we find out it has to be a, in a certain ohm resistance on the primary and secondary side of the coils. And I'm going to show you how to uh, test out the primary and secondary sides and the spark plug caps resistance as well on here. If you have a multimeter, I'd recommend getting a fluke one like this. It's a 179 industrial commercial one. And this is how you test the primary side. The primary side, you simply test by putting your uh, positive on one of your metal arms on here, like so. I'll show you here. Just put that where the actual bolts go. And you put the other negative black lead onto the uh, kill wire part and if you can see on my fluke meter right there it's saying 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1 1.3 on there that means the resistance is too high and the uh, threshold is 1.0 it's 0.7 to 1.0 on there for ohms resistance and that's the primary uh, side and that, that means it's bad on the primary side the secondary side the, the, uh, the threshold is 5.9 to 7.1 kilo ohms resistance for that so I'll show you how to check that out now uh, you do the same thing with the uh, positive you simply put the positive red lead and you put the negative black lead into the part where your spark plug boot goes up here and like that and it pops up as 6.64 on my kilo ohms meter which is, means it's well within the threshold for that uh, specific application and that's how you test a secondary one. And the last one is the resistance for the spark plug uh, boot cap. That's this thing right here. Uh, you put your one wire. It doesn't really matter. You can stick the one wire down inside here. And put the other wire down inside the spark plug uh, gap part as well. You got to wiggle the right and make sure it gets a good connection. Let me see. There we go. And it's telling me it has 11.29. Uh, kilo ohms on or so the resistance level is 7.5 to 12.5 for this specific type of engine right here and that's well within fine the area on there so that one's fine so that's basically how you test out your resistance on your ignition coil see how if it's fold you're good on there for you that should be everything for you and I'll talk to you later online I'll see you